Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go ahead and explain a command that's probably underutilized called to track changes. Uh, this is very helpful when you're in a shop that you have multiple people working on maybe the same file and you're not sure exactly uh, when you're programming, uh, do you have the latest files or not. So this can be very handy and a helpful tool and hopefully you watch this video and you can go ahead and apply this to maybe your workplace. I'm going to simply have just a simple hole on the screen. Um, I'll go ahead and just drill a hole through here and you know very simple very easy uh, just to show you a kind of how this track changes can happen and as a programmer you know I want to make sure I have the latest file so let's kind of go ahead and flip uh, over and let's see about what an engineer may do. An engineer uh, is going to wind up having to go ahead and make changes throughout the day as well uh, their job is obviously is to go ahead and make sure the parts functional and getting the things that they need to get out to the shop and to go to the machine but sometimes communication lacks and you know now you have a programmer that has one hole but you have a designer that just recently saved this part and now it has three holes okay now he doesn't have to save it with the same name it could be rev or anything else but it is going to be looking at the characters at the first few characters of this part so now that we kind of looked at maybe uh, real quickly uh, what an engineer may do you know obviously make some changes do some simple things but you know he just added a few holes very simple so now we go back into the programmer and we're taking a look and noticing you know, I'm actually in Mastercam and we were looking at SolidWorks so people always wonder that you know how can we look at different types of files this could be CATIA um, you know many different types of CAD we're really focusing on tracking a file so how this works is I can simply go over to the file I can actually go ahead and take a look at track changes and I'm going to go ahead and track options now if I'm working on a file that I need to know as a programmer I may go ahead and right click and add that uh, into the list uh, until I'm completely done this means that when you come into the next day uh, maybe a designer changed something and uh, you know you didn't know about it it'll alarm you because you have it on startup and file new also notice I don't have the exact name that I have to worry about or the extension and this is what makes it so nice is because I do not have to go ahead and search for a Mastercam file it can be kind of any file that I choose to so because Mastercam is already open I'm gonna select the part that I'm on and hit check now and it's gonna tell me that it's found some changes on the system I go ahead and select yes and what will happen is it's gonna come up and give me some options of what I need to do now I'm gonna simply back out and then you can see my part you can see that's the incoming file you can see that's an original file so right off the bat you can see them that exactly of what's the difference on each one there's a common there maybe this is the outside shape and of course the top uh, the unique to the original uh, actually that has been changed a little bit too from the face and then the whole and again you can just kind of go through here and see each one of these or even have both files up and also a toolpath it shows that one hole is only being done so really neatly what I can do is just take that incoming file I know that that's the two holes that I need to do and I can just go ahead and add that and just tell it that I just want to go ahead and add those two holes by simply go ahead and hitting the control key and selecting OK now I have this in purple and of course I know the colors because if I come over to the color of select colors it tells me kind of a dirty operation is you know into this color up to date affected operations so you know these colors can guide you along exactly what you're looking for and I'm going to simply go ahead and regenerate it now that I'm done I got a nice color that's blue I select OK I go ahead and apply out of my check changes and now I'm for sure have the latest and greatest and I don't have to worry about trying to search for a file. Now let Mastercam's track changes search for me as I go ahead and take a look at what I need to do. And of course I'd post this out and be ready to go. So hopefully this file has helped you and you can use this in the future.